Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Isn't it very nice to wake up in the morning and have such a nice a pump during the night? Bitcoin is approaching the $16,000 that we predicted yesterday and the question of course right now is are we gonna go higher towards 20k or is this a potential top here and we could be in for a possible correction this is what we're gonna analyze today so make sure to stay tuned till the end here and if you are new in the crypto space or if you want to trade bitcoin and other cryptos up to 100x leverage like you can do over on bybit or femex then make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description to open up an account because with my links you can get some bonus and also you support the channel and if you're interested in watching my own indicator with this 24 7 live stream over on my discord trading chat then make sure to contact me over on discord you find the link down below here and of course you are also very welcome to join my free discord trading chat the link is also down below here so right now we can start with that four hour time frame because Bitcoin currently is again trying to push towards the $16,000 resistance that we pointed out yesterday that here in the past in 2017 we had some support and resistance before we topped out at 20k and therefore I told you already my friends that everything above $14,000 is a bit no man's land so everything is possible since we broke out now from this $14,000. So if you are looking for a pullback then fine just wait in case that we're gonna have a bigger correction towards 12k or $13,000 then start to scale in longs there or buy even more bitcoins over there but if you are looking to open up a short position then of course I think the $16,000 makes sense even though we still have some room left to the upside and I still think there is a high chance that we maybe have another last leg to the upside which take us at least towards $16,000. $200. So in the four hour you can see currently that the RSI is very overbought even my own indicator most likely is giving very soon a sell signal here in the four hour and if we compare it to the DXY you can see here exactly the opposite condition. The thing here on the DXY is that currently we are breaking again below the previous resistance which now should have turned into new support but as you can see it didn't act as a support. We immediately plunged below and right now we are again in this falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks so in theory the DXY still could fall way lower towards 90 dollars but we're gonna have to see how we're gonna close this uh, daily candle because today is Friday and also we still need a confirmation that now this 93 dollars is the new resistance and for everyone that is watching my 24 7 indicator live stream in the future you will be also able to see the DXY chart next to the Bitcoin chart and now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the 4 hour because currently you can see that we have several 4 hour candles closing right at the top of the Bollinger Band so a correction down towards the midline even down towards $14,000 is still in the cards even though here all the indicators are pointing out that we will see some more pushes to the upside and therefore I'm telling you my friends we most likely didn't see here the top yet so it's still very likely that we're gonna see $16,200 incoming probably today or maybe even during the weekend and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that currently the 20 daily moving average is right here at the previous support area of around $13,500 so if we have a major correction then watch out here for the 20 daily moving average if you want to buy more Bitcoin or start to scale in more longs and in the worst case scenario if 13,500 will not hold we may be going to have a complete retracement back down to the support at around $11,200 but this is really only if we're coming down and don't confirm the new support here at $14,400. So it's going to be very key that we're going to close daily candles now above $14,400. Otherwise, this could have been just a fake out with a local top right here at $16,000. And then we're going to start a major correction where most likely we're going to bottom out with a higher low and then continue here the parabolic run to the upside. 
and even though it is still looking like we are entering in FOMO space I think the real FOMO will start once we are breaking 20k and all the media is kicking in here with news about Bitcoin breaking again 20k and then we will see a lot of no coiners joining the market and this will push Bitcoin towards its target of at least $100,000 per Bitcoin. So even though this push it towards $16,000 of course is very bullish, I'm still expect here pullbacks. So if you are going all in right now, be very careful my friends, because of course when FOMO is kicking in, the price will just start to skyrocket. Doesn't matter what the indicators or the patterns are telling you, but make also sure that you still have some fiat on the sideline for the worst case scenario, if we're gonna have a major correction that you you are able to buy more Bitcoin and if you are longing make sure that you are scaling in your longs and not go all in with high leverage. So right now based on my own indicator and the RSI you can see that we have very similar condition like we had over here when we topped out at $12,400 and then we had a correction to the downside. So we could see something similar also here so be very careful of course it looks like that we are gonna go way higher from here on but a correction is at any time possible right now because if the price is starting to correct like towards 14k maybe even go lower we will see a lot of people taking out profits and closing their long positions so that could lead into a bigger correction before maybe we're gonna bottom out somewhere in this range and then start again another attempt towards $16,000 and higher. And if we have now a comparison to the DX or Y, you can see that currently we are closing again daily candles below the 20 and 50 daily moving average. So what I want to see today is another close below these two moving averages. So if we're gonna see a possible pump here in the DXY, important is that we're gonna close this daily candle below this moving average. So in that case, we would have the confirmation that the 20 and 50 daily are again resistance and we should see the DXY dropping way lower in the next coming days and weeks. Because also in the RSI, you can see we drop now below the 50 level. So we still have a lot of room left to the downside here. And if we go back to the Bitcoin price and open up the Bollinger Band, you can see that here we are also still overshooting it to the upside. So even if we will retrace back down towards 14K or maybe even towards the midline here of $13,500, we will still remain on our way to the upside. So if we're gonna see a pullback, try to buy the dip, try to catch some nice long positions down at those levels. Because even in the worst case scenario, if we're dropping again towards $11,200, right at the bottom here of the Bollinger Band, you're able to scale in your long position down to this level without getting liquidated. And you can also see that currently we have all the indicators also shifted to the upside here. So the daily is looking really bullish here in the Bitcoin price. And if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that currently the 20 weekly moving average is right at our support here at $11,200. And this is also the 0.382 Fib line based on the rally that we had since March till this local top that we have currently at $16,000. So if Bitcoin is gonna have a pullback right now, so if this was a local top here, then this is the perfect entry for a long position or to buy even more Bitcoin. Because if we're gonna have a major correction during bull run, Bitcoin usually retraces down here to the 0.382 Fib line in the worst case down to the 0.618 Fib line. So if you're starting to buy more Bitcoins or scaling in some big long positions then start here from $11,300 and scale it down to $8,500 if we're gonna start a correction from this point of time. Because also the weekly is looking a bit exhausted here we have a very overbought RSI and also in my own indicator we could get very soon a sell signal but we still have some room left to the upside similar like we had over here when then we had a little correction down to the 20 weekly moving average and then had another big bounce to the upside and I think something similar could happen again in the next couple of weeks unless of course we are breaking here crazy to the upside breaking also 20k then FOMO will come back into the game and then we can forget about all these support areas down here because in that case Bitcoin will just start to skyrocket and in that case you know already my targets my friend first we're most likely gonna top out at $30,000 before maybe a little correction 
then 50,000, 65,000, 80,000, and then we will reach this 100K, which is also lining up with the stock to flow model, but that doesn't mean that we're gonna have to top out at 100K. Once we are reaching these high levels, I think we will overshoot it by far, like we also did in the last bull market. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and also if you are new in the crypto space, use the links that you find down below here, especially these two for Swissborg and Coinbase with my invitation links. You will get some free money if you sign up and put a first deposit so you can buy even more cryptos. So thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.